different kind of hit when he's down like that. Uh, I don't know. It's we'll my see. first time bass fishing. I'm a red fishing guy. <laughs> well, man, we saltwater fish, dude. Yeah, but I like this. Yeah, that's a nice boat for a bass, uh, no kidding. Yeah. That's a good fish, dude. Yep. Come on. I got you, Bubba. I'm gonna go back. Yeah. Dude. Ay, son. <laughs> Let's go. Well, we're down in Lake Okeechobee in Florida and uh doing a little bass fishing today something a little different than what we normally do if you haven't already make sure you go subscribe to the channel um a lot of what we do salt water so go subscribe and check out all the other stuff we do but today we're going bass fishing and we're on that good lake that everybody knows and everybody's heard of lake Okeechobee. so i'm gonna go run over to the boat just put it in the water see how the trail is lined up i got captain austin with me today and uh this is his uh backyard he loves fishing here this is kind of his fun thing to do when he's not chartering. So he's in the boat. I'm going to go jump in and let's go fishing. Finally got a hit, huh? Probably thrown this thing about a hundred times. Only took about ten casts. Oh, oh of course. Of course, it jumps off. Okay. But finally getting it going now. Finally, all right. Now we're seeing it. We're on the outside edge. Finally getting a little bit here. I'll take that. Even though we jumped off, it's a start finally. It was a pound and a half, two pounds. That's all clean. Come out of water? Huh? Yeah, that's why I ducked. <laughs> I saw a lure. I saw I missed the lure. Oh. Okay. I saw him miss it. I just, I wasn't looking at my partner. I was like, shit. Uh uh. His body hit it. He came over the top of it. There Whole body came over it. We're going to catch a bunch of fish in here, though, dude, because if they're short striking this frog coming off that, I'm going to be able to go through there and we'll flip that and catch it. Take it apart real slow. So Austin's got one on right there. The first bite I had, we got it inside the boat, lost it. We've been struggling, man. We've been working hard. He's got a frog on, I got a worm on. We've been struggling. We'll go over all that with you, but we finally found some grass patch. The water's real high and uh, finally one in the boat. Monsters, baby. In the boat. <laughs> it was a good bite. Yeah, you it was. can't beat a frog bite. <laughs> Dark bass, <man. laughs> Dark, yeah. Little feller. He's got a lot of heart though. He's got a lot of heart, thank you. Thank you. Whew. Hopefully we can get them going. It's about one o'clock in the afternoon. We've been fishing since like eight this morning with two bites, but we probably had three or four blow ups since we've been in this little grass patch here. So let's see what happens. Get you down in there? Yeah, he's down there. Oh, he's on. All right, so I had that other fish get off just a minute ago. He got into a big lily pad and yanked me off. Look about a four pound fish, good fish. Two good ones I've had, both came off, one inside of the boat, one in the lily pad. Austin's got one in the boat and uh, probably four or five blow ups in the frog that was short strike. So we are at another area. Uh, we're about to hit one more area. It's about 2 p.m. Give it one last shot. And then I'm gonna kind of show y'all what we did for fishing with these uh, bass today in Lake Okeechobee. Kind of what been working here, even though it didn't work so far for us today these guys have been catching a few big bass for pre-spawn um and we're talking to a couple of the guides over here that kind of give us a rundown of the lures to use and kind of how they're feeding and where they're feeding so the lake's really high right now so these fish are scattered out uh they're pretty far back in these ponds and these grass beds and uh we're gonna give it one more run so let's see what ends up happening Oh, we digging on it? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, first cast at the next spot. Oh, we oh, gonna get you. Nice, dude. Good job. Good job. 
That's what I said. That's what I needed. All right, we're not here. 10 seconds is a new spot. Throw a little spinner bait in there. Got a little bass. He was feisty. I thought he was bigger than that. He was feisty. Got a little bass. Let's see if we can size him up. Catch a few more. I don't want to let him go since he's the first one I brought to the boat. <laughs> a little precious moment there. I know. A little precious <laughs> moment. Boys, wearing me out, dude. First time in the beginner's luck. Huh? <laughs> I'm gonna lose this one. Let's pull on the last one. We'll take him. I'm liking the spinner bait. I'm liking it. Nothing like throwing a spinner bait at three o'clock in the afternoon and catching bass. Yeah. Stupid. Just stupid. <laughs> a little bass. We'll take him. Hey, on a day like today, take whatever bites. The one clump of grass. Well, Austin's got a good fish, but uh, our neighbor just put a seven pounder in the boat. <laughs> we got a class to step up. <laughs> don't, even, don't even look over here. <laughs> Another good one. Starting to heat up. The other guy said he caught a nine pounder this morning. So fishing's good, man, uh, around here. We just were in the wrong spots this morning, but it's about 20 cast and four fish. So just need the right bite now. We're looking for that right bite. It's a big one. Oh, yeah, here we go. Here we go. You got the camera on, but here we go. Here we go. You good? Different kind of hit when he's down like that. Nine uh, I don't know. It's we'll my see. first time bass fishing. <laughs> I'm a red fishing guy. <laughs> well, man, we saltwater fish, dude. Yeah, but I like this. Yeah, nice uh, no kidding. Yeah. That's a good fish, dude. You got to grab. Yep, let me get my shot over here. Oh, shit. <laughs> Come on. Don't lose it. I got you, Bubba. I'm going to go back to the <laughs> Dude. Aye, Let's go. son. Let's go. <laughs> dude, go, dude, check out this fish. This is a warmer. Oh, look, because you over here. Hey, man, we just follow the bass cats, dude. We know where it's at. It's a little bigger than that. Oh yeah. Biggest one I ever caught. It might be eight, nine. <laughs> I don't know, you got a scale? <laughs> we want to die a little bit, you're gonna check it. Hell yeah, dude. That's if you don't one. mind. Say again? Yeah, Hell yeah, I if do. you don't mind. Dude, my adrenaline is pumping. <laughs> Biggest bass ever. Pretty incredible. Which one's on? That one? Here, I'll just open the just no, one of them's open. Oh. Biggest bass ever. All right. What do you say now? Seven. Eight thirteen. Eight thirteen. Eight thirteen. That scale's wrong, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's about a pound and a half heavy. Oh man. Nice job. Come on, man. Eight pounds, thirteen ounces. Thank you, so much. Thank you man. We appreciate it. All right, man. No problem. Catch you another one. Thank you. I gotta catch me one now. Let's get some pictures of this bad boy and we get back fishing. What a day. Sometimes not how you start, it's how you finish. It was a slow start, but man, that made my day. Bass fishing might be my new thing. Might be my new thing. So when that belly starts swelling up, she's getting ready. Mm -hmm. It's all red. She's been sitting on a bed. I mean, geez. It's the biggest bass I ever put in my hands. Feel little scars on her back too. Uh-huh. That is the biggest bass I ever put in my hands. I tried to say it was five pounds. Like, that's five pounds and nine pounders. Right? <laughs> <laughs> holy moly. Mm. Oh, yeah. That's what it's all about. That that that's got me hooked. I'll be here for the spawn season. Oh no, he's wrapping the tree. <laughs> I don't know, I oh, oh. <laughs> he wasn't that small. No, he wasn't little. He's a three, four pounder, I think. Tail looked pretty decent. Yeah, we wrapped up on a tree, dude. Got another one on. You got fish, quality fish. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Take it. 
<laughs> We'd have took those all day long before I left. <laughs> Another good bass. What's that one being called on? What is I that? that Jackhammer by Z-Man. Jack He's Chatterbait. on Chatterbait. Yes, sir. Little Z-Man trailer. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Little ditch pickle. Austin said he's got it going on. That ain't that big. It felt good though. He's three for three. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> we bass fishing now, folks. Yeah, we bass fishing, boy. This shit's easy, man. What, 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 what are we talking about? We fish at all day, huh? <laughs> what are you? They well, were here. Just come on, do this at the get go. I was just, I was just waiting for the last little spot. You know, you gotta get a rally spot. Go go. That's fishing, man. I mean, fish all day long. We got two bites, both in the same spot for five, six hours. We pull up on this flat and it is on. I mean, that's probably three in a row for Austin. I got a big one. I don't even have an urge to fish anymore after that. I'm not adrenaline still pumping, but I'm gonna hit another one. Oh, he almost got hit again. Almost another one. I mean, this is why you fish. They're not always biting, but when they do, it's addictive. They, they all count. count. They all count. <laughs> Everyone counts. That fish would have been a giant three hours ago. <laughs> He'd have been great. I had the bites kicking. Now you got another bite, so I caught the big one. Okay, I'll catch them for you now. I'm getting the little ones out of the way for you. Man, they're eating this chatterbait, dude. I mean, they are eating it. That old chatterbait, huh? Old chatterbait. You know, what? a lot of my buddies say the best thing to do with these is just cut them off, let them sit in the bottom of the lake, and go fish them. Well, working. Yeah, I love them red fishing too, man. It's working, boys. I like them chatters. All right, the cloud cover came back in a little bit. The sun kind of went away, and the bite just completely shut off. So we got that window where the sun came out and those fish fired off. Austin caught a bunch of them. I got my personal best out of that one. But we showed you the lures we used. The only thing we used outside of that was this. Yeah, still got it up here. He cut it off. Is a frog. This is what we were getting short strikes on earlier in the day. Uh, probably had four or five fish short strike and landed one. So another great, you know, uh, lure for this time of the year. And for when these fish get it, what, up on the spawn beds, it's getting that time? Yeah, get up in that spawning beds and get in that thick hydrilla, uh, hydrilla and stuff. So I'm going to let Austin show you the rods that we use. Once again, we're both big Reaper rod fans. It's kind of all we use. Actually, we we're just talking about getting some built to do a little bit of offshore fishing. We're getting our tarpon rods ready for the season, both of us. So... These are all going to be reaper rods, but we can give you a rundown of what we use with these chatter baits and spinner baits, what kind of rod, what size, what length, all that good stuff. All right, so with bass fishing, you want to have an assortment of rods. Today, I was using mostly the 7.3. This is a 10 to 20 medium heavy fast action. Uh, this is a good, just all purpose rod. You're going to be able to throw chatter baits, like we threw frogs on it. You can throw a spinner bait on it. Something that's got, you know, a stiffer tip. So if you can, you know, drive the wood if you really need to when these fish get into cover. Um, so we have something like that, like I said, an all-purpose rod. And then we have something that's a little heavier that, uh, you know, you want to use for flipping and, and uh, you know, heavier cover flipping these beaver and creature baits like this, where you need to have, you know, a little bit more backbone to get stuff out of the, uh, the reeds and the hydrilla. And this is, you know, this is a good dual-purpose rod for that as well. This is a 7, this is a 7.6. I think this one's, yeah, this one's a 15 to 30. So just a little heavier, a little bit more action. You get a little longer tip so when you're making those pitches you can get out there a little further and a little bit more accurately and then uh, and most importantly today with these rods that we were fishing these moving baits on a little like 40 pound braid on these and then we went to 65 to 80 pound braid on our flipping stuff here in florida uh, we didn't fish any fluorocarbon today just all braid you know some people think that the fluorocarbon makes a big difference in getting bites but you really got to get those fish out of the cover still and i'd rather get those fish out so if we sacrifice a bite or two and land the fish to me that's better odds so that's what we were using today just an assortment and then again like i said you want to have an assortment of rods reaper makes a great rod there's tons of rods out there but these reapers really get it done so that's what we're using yeah so i can't say enough about the reaper rods been using them a long time since the first time i got my hands on them never switched out of them uh they are quality you can tell when you put it in your hands but make sure y'all like this video this is our first bass video we plan on doing a bunch more now i'm hooked i mean that, that's that's all it took for me um and subscribe to the channel for us, please. I mean, we got all kind of good saltwater stuff coming. We're getting ready to start our 2024 season. So like and subscribe to us. Any comments below, we appreciate them. Let us know questions, answers, what to do, anything. Just throw it in the comments below, man. We'll be happy to talk with y'all and uh, hope to see y'all in the water soon.